I'm Howard Reisman, the CEO of Stock Rover. In this video, we're going to take a brief tour of the 14 screeners that ship by default in Stock Rover. We will then take a look at some of the over 100 additional screeners that are available in the Stock Rover library. First off, why do screeners matter? Well, selecting and running one or more screeners are generally the first steps in any investment research process. Screeners will find a set of candidate investment ideas from a larger universe of stocks or ETFs. Screeners screen according to the investment criteria that you care about. They can even rank passing tickers based on the investment factors that matter the most to you. The 14 screeners we provide by default cover a variety of investment strategies and approaches. Here are the screeners you will see in the navigation panel when you first create an account and log into Stock Rover. This set of screeners is by no means fixed. They can be altered or removed, and you can create your own screeners or add them from the Stock Rover Investors Library. There are four general categories that the 14 screeners can be classified in. Growth, value, momentum, and specific strategies. Let's dive in and take a look. Five of the 14 screeners could be classified as growth screeners. The dividend growth screener looks for companies paying a reasonable yield of 1.5 to 3.75%, and they are growing dividends at at least 8% per year over the last five years. To ensure the company can afford the dividends it pays, it must also be growing earnings by at least 8% over the last five years and sales by 4% and it cannot pay out more than 40% of its net income in dividends. The growth at a reasonable price screen looks for companies with both EPS and operating income growth north of 15% per year. Ditto for next year's estimated EPS. Also, the five-year sales growth must exceed 8% per year. The PE must be under 20, and the trailing and forward PEG must be under 1.2. The large cap growth with momentum screener finds companies with a greater than $5 billion market cap that are exhibiting strong revenue and earnings growth and are still reasonably priced. The companies must also be outperforming its industry and the S&P 500. The long-term growth screener works best when the market exhibits the traits of a solid economy, reasonable growth, and low interest rates that might slightly rise in the future. This screener finds mid and large cap companies that are growing, getting more efficient, and are not reliable on debt for financing. The small cap growth screener looks for small companies that are outperforming the S&P 500 and are within 15% of their 52-week high. The companies must be growing both their sales and earnings at a rapid clip. Finally, the companies must also have a strong return on invested capital performance. There are three value screeners, fair value, large cap value, and safe performers. The fair value screener will find 50 stocks that have the greatest margin of safety based on their stock over computed fair value relative to their price. The large cap value screener finds companies that are inexpensive by traditional measures such as low price to earnings, price to sales, and price to book. These companies should still be growing sales and earnings. The safe performance screeners find stocks with high institutional ownership, low beta, in good value and quality grades, and long-term outperformance versus the S&P 500. Two of the screeners look for price momentum. They are relative strength and strong buys.
The relative strength screener finds stocks with consistent outperformance versus the S&P 500 in all periods, ranging from five days to five years. The longer the period, the more the outperformance must be to pass this screener. The strong buys screener finds stocks with a high margin of safety that are also in favor with the market as shown by a sentiment score in the top quartile and a recent buy sign from the MACD technical indicator. There are four screeners that implement the specific strategy. Buffetology Inspired, Capital Efficiency, Petrovsky High F Score, and Top Stocks. The Buffetology Inspired screener is based on criteria described in the best-selling Buffetology book and mimics Warren Buffett's investing approach. The screener insists companies should have a 10-year track record of generally increasing EPS with no negative earnings years, long-term debt not more than five times annual earnings, average return on equity over the past 10 years of at least 15%, average return on invested capital over the last 10 years at least 12%, and earnings yield should be higher than the long-term treasury yield. The Capital Efficiency Screener screens for stocks with strong return on invested capital, return on assets, and return on equity. It also ensures the company's return on assets and return on equity are well above industry averages. Finally, it screens on the famous Novi Marks quality metric, gross profit over total assets. The Petrovsky High F Score screener uses nine criteria that Joseph Petrovsky, a professor of accounting at Stanford University, developed to decide whether or not a stock has solid financials and if the financials were getting better. Passing companies must have a perfect score of nine. The top stock screener works with mid and large cap companies looking for stocks that pass criteria that one academic study indicated are the most effective for future outperformance as determined by backtesting multiple strategies. The criteria that mattered are as follows. Enterprise value over EBITDA between 3 and 8. Return on equity must exceed 18%. And return on assets must exceed 10%. Finally, the stock must exhibit current momentum by ensuring the current price is within 15% of its 52-week high. There are well over 100 additional screeners in the Stock Rover Investors Library that are available to you and can easily be imported into your account. Importing is easy, as you can see here. I've already switched to the library, and the screener selection comes up by default. I will import the ETF Low Expense Screener, first by searching on ETF, and then checking the ETF Low Expense Screener, and finally clicking the Import button. Now you can see that the ETF low expense screen has been added to my account. On the ETF side, we have a whole host of ETF screeners that screen for passing ETF candidates across a whole spectrum of criteria, ranging from big cap growth to small cap value. There are international screeners from Asia to emerging markets. You can screen for sustainable ETFs, quality ETFs, as well as dividend growth and yield. So to see everything available, just put ETF into the library search box. We have screeners in the library that implement the very popular Investor Business Daily's CanSlim investment system. We also have screeners that screen on Morningstar grades. We have a very powerful stock rating system within Stockrover, and there are a number of screeners in our library that will allow you to screen based on our ratings.
the screeners cover the overall ratings as well as the component ratings such as valuation, efficiency, growth, dividends, and momentum. There are various small, mid, and large cap growth and value screeners. There are dividend screeners for growth, yield, and safety. There are also a number of momentum screeners. You can also find sector screeners in the library for many of the key sectors such as tech, healthcare, and industrials. Other screeners of interest include Greenblatt's Magic Formula screeners, and O'Shaughnessy's Cornerstone Growth based on James O'Shaughnessy's What Works on Wall Street book. There are many more screeners in the library and they are easy to peruse, just like a regular library. Except the Stock Rover Library never closes. I encourage you to take a look and see that all that Stock Rover offers for this first critical step of finding promising investment candidates. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that is offered, as well as check out our other educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.